Welcome to the next video of our test project course. And in this we'll be talking about working with test step type. Test step types. There are three step types exist in test project. Element actions, action, and test. As discussed in our previous video, we just skipped this particular option within our test step because this is kind of vast topic than compared to the other options that we discussed. Element actions. As we saw in our previous video, the element action is something which helps to identify an element within our test case and helps you to perform an actions. For instance, if you want to identify an element within your test case and then if you want to perform an action like clicking the button or you want to re-identify the button by identifying the button using different identifier. So you can do all sort of jazz using this particular element actions option. The next option is something very very different from the one which we have discussed so far which is nothing but action. Actions helps you to do some of the mobile specific operation something like close app or click the home button and then reinstall the application or install the application and then identify the applications bundle something like that and you can also use some of the third-party add-ons or the add-ons that you already have uploaded within your test project account so that you can leverage the power of add-ons within test project and once again add-ons is something we have not discussed so far in our course but we'll be discussing about how we can write an add-on and how we can upload it and use it within different test cases that we have the next type is test so you can reuse a test within a test using this particular option within the test project so this is very very helpful for instance if you want to perform an action or repeat an action from the place where you have left you can use this particular option or for instance while you are running the test you want to authenticate your application using another application so you can call this particular test option to invoke the authenticator app and then you can authenticate the application and then you can fall back to the application under test once again to perform an action. So you can do this mix and match of calling a test which is already recorded within your test project and then falling back to your test where you are executing the test. You can do all sort of jazz using this particular test option. This is really really cool and one of the guy in LinkedIn asked about how we can reuse a test within test. Again this is going to be the answer for you now that how you can use it. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Chrome browser. All right, so this is the same project that we discussed in our previous video of this course. And we have been discussing about this project for a long time now. And you can see that the one that we are interested in this time is going to be the type. As you can see, the current type, it is element action. And almost most of the type within the operation that is used to perform an action within an element of the UI will be element action. But the one, as you can see, the reset app, the type is not element action, rather it is action. The action is something which is going to be very, very helpful to perform within a device or within the application itself. For instance, if you click this particular actions, so you can do something like close app, compare strings, compare text with clipboard, concatenate string, copy file, create folder, delete file, and uh, let me just scroll a little bit here and you will see some other options coming in. So you can see there is a loading happening and you can see there is a download symbol here. So it says that install add-on. So these are something which is coming from store of the test project. So you can see there is something called as add-ons and you can see there is a community add-ons, test project add-ons and there are add-ons that you install by yourself within your account. So these add-ons are what going to be coming over here for you so that you can install them and you can start using it. There is something called as random age. There is something called get substring, get altitude, random birthday. So these are some of the nice little utilities that you can use within your test cases so that you can empower your existing test cases in much easier fashion instead of just rewriting the whole code. Very, very helpful. I guess this is very handy to use within your test and very very helpful while we were using this particular option in our test cases and the last option which is nothing but the test itself so if I select this particular test and you can see it says select test here 
So if I select it, you can see that this is the only test that we tested in our previous video of this course where we tested an iOS application, which is nothing but test gas P. So this particular option also comes in here. So I can choose that. Very, very cool. So let me close that. Let me fall back to, uh, since this is a reset app, so I'm just gonna change the uh, action here to uh, reset app, let it be here. And then I'm just gonna cancel it maybe because I'm not gonna do anything here. But this one, which I disabled in our previous video, so I'm just gonna enable this for now. Let me enable it. And you can see that this is gonna be the close app. So if I click it, you can see there's something called as close app here. So let me just run this code and show you what's gonna happen. So basically every time our test executes, it is not really closing our application, but this time it is actually going to run the test for us and also it's gonna close the application for us. And you can see this time it has closed the application. It's because it is actually happening from this particular step. Instead of close app, we can also do some other options, something like clicking the home button. So if I select this close app step here, so I can choose the uh, click the home. So let me search for something like home here. And you can see that test project is gonna search for me and it's showing me press home button in iOS device. So I'm just gonna choose that and then I can save it. And there are some other options, something like locking the screen once the option has been performed. So if I click this uh, option here, so if I just search for something like lock, and you can see that it shows the lock options for you. And again, I'm not sure if the lock screen is currently supported by iOS. I think it's only for Android just for now. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm just going to, uh, so this is an option just you can see that there is something that you can use to lock the screen once the test has been done. So this is really, really cool. Again, this is something, a good option that you can use within your test step. So this is the press home button and I'm just gonna uh, cancel it. I guess it is already saved here. So now if I try to run this test, so let's see how long it's gonna execute the test for me now. Pressing the home button for me once the test has been completed. So you can see this time it has pressed the home button. So I can just swipe in my screen, in my phone, and you can see that the application still exists here. So it has not really closed. So I can see from my multitask window of iPhone that the application still exists. Really, really cool. So these are the things that you can do within your test project to perform an action within your application as well as your device using the type of the test. So there is another type, as I said before, is something called as action as test. So if you specify the action as test here, you can call a test within your test to perform an action. So you can see that I can call the test gas P test here to run the test. But once again, this is not really gonna make any sense to run a YouTube app and then a test gas P app. But you can see that there is an option that you can use to call a test within your test and then run an existing test using the test project's test cases. So these are some of the options that you can do within your test project's test type and leverage the power of add-ons while working with your test type's actions. So that's it guys. These are things that you can do using test types within your test cases. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.